Hey everybody, this is Lynn from A Bit of Birdsong. I wanted to quickly share one of the journals that I've completed this weekend and that is going out to a customer. I wanted to share this for two reasons. One is that I wanted to just share this particular journal. I think it turned out really pretty. The second reason is that I want to have a good video available for my Etsy listing for a surprise boho journal purchase. If anybody purchases one, I want them to be able to come to a video and see a similar journal to what they will receive. I love the way this turned out. And today has been another day of bird adventures in my own backyard. I saw something when I very first got up this morning that just took my breath away. A very, very large hawk was sitting in the bird bath. And we just don't see that. They're up in the trees. Sometimes they will swoop down low through the yard. But this one sat there for the longest time. And I knew if I tried to go outside that it would scare the hawk away. So I did take some pictures from inside and they're through the window. They're with a phone camera and it's on zoom. So they're not real clear, but you can see how big this hawk was. So yeah, it was really, really, really neat to see that. And I'm going to be printing a picture of that to put in my bird journal. So let's just flip through this. I'll try to do it quickly. This is the fabric I've been working with lately. As you know, this pretty green and cream color. It's got the little lace tie. And I've put a ribbon through the center of this one signature junk journal with a little bead charm that I made from some glass beads that I found last week. And this journal has the fabric inside, the fabric pocket, a large tag with another little card inside that can be written on. And there's a bird image with a little kitty cat clip. Underneath here is some uh, wallpaper with a bird as well. This journal is full of all kinds of birds, all sorts of bird information. There's a pocket here. There is a page of old text from Sesame and Lilies, which is apparently a couple of lectures about raising boys and raising girls. It's outdated, it's controversial, but I love that it's old. I love that the title of this particular lecture is Of Queen's Gardens. So I included that from a very old book. There's a printout of a little flower fairy and a beautiful reproduction of an old ledger paper from a ledger that looks like it belonged in a shop. And I put the bird, just scanned them both together. So you can see that a lot of the pages are very embellished with a lot of lace trim and fabric trim, beautiful bird stamps. This one has a little image that talks about the parts of a bird. There's a pretty hummingbird. Some of Nick's beautiful paper. That purchase is totally worth the money. I will be using that a lot in my own journals. Just a lot of information in here. Different magazine pages or I guess book pages is more like it. And there's the lovely printout of the boy on his bicycle. We have wallpaper pockets, more ledger paper. Here is a vintage reproduction image that was on a large poster and I just sewed that onto some hand dyed paper. I'm gonna just flip through this quickly. I love this bead trim and like I've said before, sometimes the very last bead will kind of slip off when you cut it, but for the most part, they seem to be pretty well attached. There's a beautiful blue jay, a map page. There's a pretty jewelry page. I loved it because it's the pretty blue and it's got the wing on it. More pockets 
and images. That's some really nice paper. It looks plain, but oh, just it's great paper for writing. And another stamp, more eco print paper, and there's from, from a vintage bird book. One of the beautiful uh, tile papers from the textile samples that I get sometimes. There's a little image from a card that's washi taped onto that side. And there's one of your information pages where you can document what you see. And there's a beautiful garden. This journal, I think, just turned out really, really pretty. I carried the bicycle theme through a little bit. You'll see it in several places. And there's one of the images of the ladies with their feather hats. Kind of tie in with things. With the bird theme. I love books like this. I love journals like this because you can go through and put little notes in, but there are also areas where you can read and learn. This is a nice thing to be left out for visitors to look through. It's sort of like a lookbook, if you will, but it's also a journal with places to write things down and pockets for information. I love those. There's the bicycle again on that pretty blank greeting card. And you can see the little charms throughout. And here we are at the center. Just love this. It looks like feathers. Maybe that's a trim or a boa of some kind, but it's just a really pretty image. And that blue, the blue dresses are just gorgeous. I love those. There's a vintage card with a little birdhouse and some birds, and it's actually had been written in. It's a little get well card from long ago. There's the wise owl. More garden pages, digital printouts, book pages, fabric tabs, and this is neat. This was from a uh, book about pet birds and it says bizarre living quarters for a blue and yellow macaw it's an old beer barrel so just that's really really cool I like that a lot wallpaper and just more information about wingspan eco dyed paper and that's just a pretty little card. A little card with owls on it. Fabric tab. And there's the old note page from the Chicago Hilton. And another charm. This is a swan, and I definitely had a certain person in mind when I purchased this little bag of swan charms. And I bet you know who you are. She loves swans. And there's another little button on a bulb pen. Another stamp, and more of that wonderful paper. It's pretty. Got the bright, bright flowers. That's a beautiful photograph. And there are the wings again on the jewelry page. There's the other part of the blue jay. Very nice. I love the way this turned out. I'm excited to be sending this out to its owner, and I hope she will love it. There's a little cloth tag that says birds. And a little bird stamp. More information just to read, and I know it's just little snippets of text, but I think sometimes for me, I learn better when I'm not overwhelmed with information. I may retain a little trivial fact better than I would some long text that I had a hard time getting through. So that is a postcard from a Vincent Van Gogh Kingfisher by the Waterside. That's really neat. It's pretty. Butterflies. We're getting towards the end. I love this. That hat is just awesome. 
Very pretty. And here we are at the end. That again is from my collection of ephemera and personal photographs. And I called that Let's Go Birding. And then here in the back is just an envelope to keep things in. It's got the music inside, which reminded me of the birds. And as just a reminder of who made the journal, I've got my little bird stamp and I've stamped the word bird song. And that's that. So I'm excited to share this with you. I love the way it turned out. Again, it's going out first thing in the morning to its new owner and this gives me a good documentation of the type of journal you might receive if you order a custom boho bird journal. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you next time. Bye.